Today, Precarious plays Chrono Trigger. Dragon Quest is just about as straightforward of an RPG as you can imagine until... I don't know, I'm not that familiar with the earlier ones. I've played them, but they didn't leave nearly the impression that... Cool? Oh, nearly, right in there. Nearly the impression that the eighth one did. Dragon Quest VIII is great. Mm-hmm. And I think that one of the reasons why it clicked for me where the earlier ones didn't, it was the fairly simple addition of Super Saiyans. I mean, tension. <laughs> So, the way that game works, you have a party of one to four people. As the game progresses, you you get more. Um, everyone just picks like one thing. They do a turn mm -hmm. from uh, from a, a fairly limited list that expands as as the game goes on. Um, it becomes quite nuanced by the end. What's interesting, it's the intersection of a very old system and then a very simple new system. The old system is MP, or yeah. I'm assuming it's MP, um, a, a resource that allows you to perform extraordinary techniques, right? Yeah. You've got one of those here. Yeah. The other system is what makes it uh, interesting. It's the tension system. So, in its default state, a character can essentially stock a turn plus a little extra. Mm -hmm. So they take a turn to focus and increase their tension. And usually, I think it increases by, it's either 20% or 25%. I can't remember if it's like, you, you go five times to max, or four times to max. The important thing is that there's a little bit of variance. It's a little bit unreliable. Um, once the tension is full, you can keep trying to increase your tension uh, with less reliable results than before. <clears throat> you might... Oh. Uh, you should put that on whoever has the weakest defense in the party right now. Mm -hmm. If you increase your attention successfully while you're already at what is supposedly max tension, you enter a state of high tension and your character gets a fiery purple aura. And in the case of your protagonist, uh, his orange bandana blows away in the wind, and he has Super Saiyan hair. Mm -hmm. Not gold, though, but spiky. Very purposefully. It's a Kira Toriyama. Yeah, it's there. like, so something it's, has happened. I am electrical. <laughs> it's, it's Also, it's in the eyes, right? He definitely gets, yeah. a, gets a case of the... the, the it, it does the very Akira Toriyama thing where, like, he just he do, changes the eye shape. This from, being is powered up. Right. <laughs> from the, the nice, friendly, sort of like, uh, long semicircle or mm -hmm. uh, or something to uh, the very narrow, pointed, sort of like Vegeta-esque mm -hmm. eye or the Super Saiyan 3 Goku eye. Anyway, the point is, um, you... you it changes the, the structure of the game in a kind of nice way because you're you're stocking your turns, you're building up tension. And it's just it's visually appealing. It's sort of narratively appealing because it's like, oh, character's building up tension. That's cool. And then we're gonna <clears throat> strike once whenever things are looking their most grim. Mm-hmm. But it, it creates a situation where you're changing the MP economy. Because you still only pay for whatever attack you unleash in the end, you only pay for it one time. Uh, so, I mean, imagine that. Imagine that here. Imagine if you had a... 
you know what would probably be more appropriate for this game? Mm -hmm. Imagine if dual and triple tacks were much more expensive. Mm -hmm. And if there was a synchronize command where your characters could become more in sync with one another and then it would reduce the cost of the the texts that they are performing together. I see. Down to a more reasonable level. And then there's the... <clears throat> there's the... I think that that kind of system is best paired with... Uh, I, I can't remember if this is how it worked in Dragon Quest Eight or not. It's paired with like a... Some sort of defense reduction, right? Mm -hmm. So like as the tension increases if your character whoop oh okay must have been the kind of attack that just reduced him to 1 HP you should take care of that ASAP what, what? yeah that thing any, I'm, I'm, I don't think that we're lucky enough that whatever that was just so happened to deal his HP minus 1 I think that was an attack that specifically reduces the target to one hit point. That was unkind. Yeah, I mean, they've done them before. Mad. I have to spend all this time giving smoochies. You should. You could do a robo-tackle and try to end the battle before it does it again. Oh. Okay, so That's it doesn't... Okay. Was that the first time you hit that one? I don't know. I just all of a sudden it was no HP. Um, maybe not necessarily like a you will absolutely like your defense goes down. Maybe not something that uh that forward. Mm -hmm. uh, you should use a shelter before you save to get the MP back. Oh, okay. I see the point. I'm like I'm pretty. Pretty healthy. Yeah, well, we pack lots of shelters so we can use them for just this occasion. Um, but maybe something like your character is more vulnerable to critical hits, right? Mm hmm So it creates this risk-reward scenario. Over here. I'm trying to think of something that would be interesting for this game. Ah, that could be compelling. Imagine if as characters became more synchronized, their uh, ATB slowed mm. to represent that they are their moving more cautiously and carefully to stay on, like, the same train of thought with one another, you yeah. know? So you get a cheaper or perhaps more damaging dual tech or triple tech, but then the meter fills more slowly before you get the opportunity to capitalize on it, you know? Mm -hmm. So I think that, that that's something that could make the system more interesting. Um, oh, here's another possible... Uh, you might want to... Don't switch zones. I would explore both of these paths evenly um, until you find, like, treasures and stuff without crossing crossing into another, uh, another area. Yeah. Who put all this dirt up in the sky anyway? <laughs> Freaking enlightened ones, man. We got too much time on our hands. Too light. Too much lightning. <laughs> It'd be really funny if that was that. If it was just really literal, like their power is actually just enlightening things. <laughs> Boy, these two are really setting me up for. Ah. Uh, if you go there now. Yep. Yep. It's a good one. 
Come here, let me throw you across the battlefield, because you know that's what's happening. Leave screen vertically, flies horizontally. Yeah, they say they say Falcon Strike like it's something fancy, but it's really Isla throwing Chrono across. <laughs> no magic. None whatsoever. Just muscles. I like her victory dance in the yeah. background. <laughs> like a dart, like a game of darts that uh, she's yeah. just excited. She's excited to have won. Chrono stretches his arms out like a falcon, one of which is holding a blade, and then gets thrown like a paper airplane. <laughs> <laughs> Lapis is here. <laughs> no, I'm sorry. No, she's not. It's just a he I think it's like a group-wide healing item. It's not that impressive. You should go up the chain because I have a sneaking suspicion that it connects to a small landmass that will let you go back down. Oh? No. 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 Sorry. Uh, you I've might gotta wanna... kill those two first. Yellow... Yellow imps. I don't know what they actually are. Uh, you could... It seems like they have so little HP. You might be able to do a cyclone sweep or supersonic spin, actually. Sorry. Uh, that's the one that hits the whole screen. Yes. As long as they're not resistant to the damage type, it might do enough all on they're its own. They're not very strong, but if they get you first, they're a problem. Okay. See? So that did work. So try and keep that in mind for the future. That That's a pretty simple tech mm -hmm. that can beat them both. Or, not them both. It can beat any number of yellow imps because it doesn't divide the damage. Yeah. Between them. Should I really explore the rest of this side or should I go back? Uh, just as long as you don't transition to a different zone. So, if, like, the camera stops following you and gets, like, stuck, mm -hmm. then you should turn back because you... After they put... Uh, that accessory that we still have equipped on Marley mm -hmm. in a, a fairly early game chest. Um, I've been wary of just skipping, just skipping content, you know? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I do like the supersonic spin. What was another game? Okay, there. that's one. Uh, I didn't... I don't remember liking it as much as either of its predecessors, but I've wanted to play it again because I don't know if I gave it a fair shake. Because thinking about it, it has a... It has an idea that I like quite a lot. Final Fantasy Tactics Advance... Well, it wasn't really Advance... Final Fantasy Tactics A2. Mm -hmm. Um. And I think there's a subtitle that I can't. Was it like Grimoire of the Rift, Grimoire of Shadows, Book, Dark Book, Book, book Bad, <laughs> Dark Man's Bad Book Club, Grimoire of Shadows, Book Bad, <laughs> Worst Book Club. <laughs> uh. <laughs> The, what, the, the interesting thing about it, and it solves a problem, a, a pretty major problem. What's so funny? What are you giggling about? His dark librarium. Okay, yes. That's <laughs> Sorry, good. I had one more and it didn't come out soon enough. Um, it solved a problem that I had with Final Fantasy Tactics Advance, mm -hmm. and that is I actually maintained some self-control whenever we played Tactics Advance on the show. Mm -hmm. It's really pretty trivial to load up on characters with Ultima moves and uh, assassins with last breath mm -hmm. and concentration and just use those moves to run in. Like you you can make them all uh, assassin snipers yeah and you cloak on the first turn you get in position like you get everybody to where they need to be uh oh actually hold on this is more complicated yeah maybe go to the south because that might dead end at that treasure box on the right if we're lucky mm -hmm. uh so the It 
it was really easy to get in position and then use all of these fairly expensive abilities to just win the battle, right? Like, yeah. almost any battle, unless it was a situation where, like, the boss was immune to last breath, but even then, those bosses probably aren't immune. Like, they're not immune to Ultima attacks and they're not immune to combo attacks. In A2, everyone's MP starts off either at zero or very low and then builds every turn. And while that doesn't necessarily make much sense narratively because that looks like a zone transition to me. It does. Uh, it doesn't make much n narrative sense because it's like you can't you can't seriously tell me that these characters are just accumulating magic now. Why are they not accumulating it as they just exist in this world? Is it something is it a change where like all magic comes from judges? I don't think that's the case because I'm pretty sure that there are still uh uh, how did I think I figured out how to pronounce it more uh, accurately when we were playing it Yag right the the lawless zones mm -hmm. uh, hold on you should maybe use a shelter again because you've used quite a bit of MP Falcon yeah. striking stuff um, and you should probably go up the chain up into the right because I think there's a box up there yeah there is so, it, narratively, it's not the best. Uh, like, I think that they probably shouldn't have had it be MP anymore. They probably should have changed it to, like, some kind of adrenaline, you know? Some mm -hmm. sort of, like, combat high. Mm -hmm. um, that might have made it feel more sensible. The important thing is that, mechanically, I think it was um, a smart decision. And I think that maybe something like that would work here. I think that probably the best systems for super moves, you have to earn them, right? Mm hmm Because right now, how we're earning our... Sort of like our abuse of spinning laser attacks and our... Chrono darts. It's because of our capacity. What's being tested, really, is our capacity to remember where save points are. Yeah. And our capacity to pack tents. Mm hmm. Which, I mean, that's. It's fair. It's a skill to be tested. It's preparing for a journey. Uh, so that's... I think this is cleared out, and we need oh, to What go. about to the left? Did you go up and to the left? Like, over there? Did you go over there? Um, we'll check on our own, and we'll come back. Um, I did not. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, well, we've we've seen how this plays out. Yeah. <laughs> Laser light jump. Uh, we'll come back, and I think that's all I wanted to say about those two games. Next time, I want to talk about uh, Zenosaga. It's a doozy.